649. This is your morning in eight minutes. You're taking a live look now at I-40 at Paper Mill Drive. This is on the eastbound side. That cleanup continues after a crash. We sent you an alert about earlier this morning in the WVLT News app that left at least one person hurt. You can see from this footage we took of the scene earlier this morning. Right now, crews are still cleaning up debris in the shoulders of the eastbound side of the interstate and on the paper mill exit. Several agencies responded to this incident, including Knoxville Fire. We're working with all of our sources to get more details about this crash. Well, some of you are up early getting ready for the first day of school. Yeah, others started last week. We do have a list of all the counties starting today. Jefferson, Claiborne, Cumberland, Fentress, Granger in Hawkins County. A reminder, Knox County, you start tomorrow. We hope you all have a great first day and school year. Monroe County Sheriff's Office says they have identified the suspects accused of stealing $1,500 in children's backpacks and school supplies from a church. This happened Friday at Druid Hill Baptist Church in Teleco Plains. Officials say the suspects left shattered windows and got away with 25 children's backpacks filled with school supplies. Investigators say they found some stolen items, but some supplies were traded for meth. The case is headed to a grand jury. We'll continue to update you as soon as we learn more. And right now, four people are charged in the murder of a woman whose body was found on North Shore Drive. A jogger found Alma Matias dead last weekend. The Knox County Sheriff's Office says four people are now facing charges in connection to her death. Officials say Jason Young is charged with her murder, theft and arson. He turned himself in on Saturday. Rontrell Allen also faces arson charges. Investigators say Tyrone Mack Jr. and Jaquasha Ryan face several charges as well, including abuse of a corpse and tampering with evidence. Officials say they found Matias's car near High School Road with an open gas can next to it. Investigators say they used flock cameras to track Matias's car back to an apartment where she went in and never came out. Deputies say there's also video of three people taking something very large from that apartment wrapped in the same blanket Matias was found in. We're going to continue to update you as we learn more about this story, both on air and inside the WVLT News app. A man's recovering this morning after being shot in Knoxville Saturday. A Knoxville woman is facing several charges in the shooting, including attempted second degree murder. This happened early Saturday morning on Gatson Avenue in East Knoxville near the zoo. KPD says 43 year old Jonta McLean is charged in the shooting. The victim is seriously hurt. Officials say he's in critical but stable condition at last check. We're working to learn more about what happened and we'll give you any updates on the man's condition. The Knox County Sheriff's Office is investigating after a body was found in a wooded area in West Knoxville. Investigators found the body in the 300 block of Walker Springs Road Saturday afternoon. This is behind the West Knoxville Walmart near a construction site. Officials tell us they don't suspect any foul play. We're working to find out who the person is and how they died. We'll keep you updated on air and in the WVLT News app. Right now, Crime Stoppers needs your help finding the man on your screen. He's accused of stealing two cars and a donation jar from a local family owned business in Alcoa twice. The do donation jar was meant to help a young boy with brain damage. Whitehead Auto Sales is a small family owned business. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers. We have that number for you in the WVLT News app. And right now, a 19 year old man is dead after a crash on I-275 South. This happened Saturday afternoon near High School Avenue. KPD says the 19 year old lost control of his car and left the interstate, hitting another car merging onto the road. The 19 year old's SUV flipped several times and he was thrown from the car. KPD says he was taken to the hospital where he died. The other driver is expected to be OK. The crash remains under investigation. We'll update you when we learn more. And in Blunt County, officials are investigating a deadly accident after a man was hit by a car while riding his bicycle. This happened yesterday in Maryville on Ferris Road near Rafer Avenue just before 3 o'clock. The 53 year old man went to Blunt Memorial Hospital but died. The driver is not hurt. We're working to learn more about the victim as the investigation continues. Well, gas prices continue to rise. Well, prices at the pump are now the highest they've been since November. But what does that mean for us here in East Tennessee? Well, if you're filling up this morning, it'll cost you around three. 37 in Tennessee that state average is sitting at 347. The national average is at 383. 
And don't forget to buy your lottery tickets. Yeah, the Mega Millions <laughs> drawings happening tomorrow night. You have the very small chance yes. of becoming a billionaire. After another Friday night with no winner, the jackpot has now reached $1.55 billion. That marks the third largest in U.S. lottery history. There has not been a winner since April 18th. If you get all six winning numbers, you get a one-time payment option of $757 million. The odds of winning the Mega Millions is 1 in 302 million. The next drawing is tomorrow night at 11 o'clock. It is 6.54 now, getting another look at your first alert traffic, keeping an eye on that I-40 exit at Paper Mill. You can see they were able to clear the right-hand shoulder on the interstate, but there are still several crews that are on that exit ramp blocking that lane and that shoulder. It looks like traffic is still able to get by. Just use extreme caution if you are headed that way. Taking a look around downtown Knoxville, I-40, I-75, I-640 all looking good. You are in good shape as you get out the door. You do want to be mindful of those school zones as many of you are starting back today. Make sure you're slowing down and moving over. It's a WVLT first alert weather day as we're tracking rain and storms moving this afternoon. Right now we just got a few showers in around Sevier County. We're really starting to die down. Got a few more as we look into really mostly Morgan County. You can see a nice little blob of rain there. It's 73 Knoxville to 70 Pigeon Forge, 74 Maryville, 72 Oak Ridge. It's 68 Crossville. You're 70 in Oneida at 72 La Follette. Little sticky starting to see some of those clouds move in. So that bus stop forecast for those headed off to school could still be near about 70 degrees as we head throughout the next hour or so. Remember, we got those afternoon storms, so make sure you pack the rain gear. We are in that enhanced risk. That's a three out of five on that severe weather scale. Really, all of us here in East Tennessee, you can see a small sliver, really parts of the plateau southeast of Kentucky in that site risk as a two out of five on that severe weather scale. Really, we're just confident for those strong to severe storms to move in. Those are going to move in closer to noon. You could see mostly seeing those heavy rain and storms one, two, three, four o'clock into the afternoon and then really five to six o'clock. We'll start to see that system push on out of here. Drier as we head into tomorrow, 86 degrees with more of that sunshine, bringing back more of those rain and storms late Wednesday to Thursday. I think Thursday is kind of just one of those really rainy days. You can see highs drop into the 80s mid to upper 80s though heading into the weekend hanging on to a few of those spotty rain chances just make sure you have a way to get watches and warnings as we head throughout the day on this WVLT first sort of the day we got Jacob and Ben in for you this afternoon they'll continue to keep you updated yeah I got my WVLT first alert weather app ready to go you guys do a good job of sending out those alerts all right Paige thanks we're headed on over to WBXX we hope to see you there